This is a talk about transitions, or essentially monkey in a box becomes monkey in a cloud. And the original steps, which you will notice, are in all caps in favor of my capitals. Uh, we're in the original steps of the, of the, of the script were essentially set some variables, check to make sure that server app was running and installed, uh, in the other order though, uh, install the Xcode CLI tools, install the monkey tools, make a repo, install auto package and add some repos to auto package and download some stuff. Uh, install monkey report PHP on the web services in uh, a server and then get an ice cream. So server's going away. Well, not exactly, just all of it. Um, the app will still be there like a vestigial tail, um, so it's going to sit there. But, you know, really, where we're going, we don't need roads anymore. Uh, we do need a cloud. And uh, so, essentially, the new design of all of this is, hey, look, set some variables, install the CLI tools, install the monkey tools, make a repo, install auto package, install some repos and download some packages. Wait. We're not going to install monkey report PHP, so sorry about that. Um, we are going to install the AWS CLI, Terraform, and then we're going to edit some JSON files, sync the repo to an S3 bucket created by Terraform, and create a CloudFront distribution with Terraform. And essentially give you all of the pieces that Clayton was so awesome to open source this uh, morning uh, and are not yet implemented in this version of the code, uh, but essentially will be at the future because... It, the big question is always, what does this cost us, right? Because if you want to do this internally, you've got a Mac Mini or a copy of Server, and you're, you know, doing some hosting internally. But and that's going to cost you some physical hardware as well as, you know, internal bandwidth. But the big question is, what's it actually cost? So I've been doing this internally for around 75 machines for the last uh, six months, and the, the the gap in cost can be pretty substantial. In April, it was 90 cents because I didn't quite clear the free tier of CloudFront at that point. And then Microsoft released three major releases of Office in May. So that was the difference between spending 90 cents and spending $30. Um, the estimated for June right now as of uh, this morning was $14.90 for 75 clients. So if you're thinking to yourself, I don't want to do this, I can't do this, think about this. And the fact that it allows you to do things like deploy with source control and move your, your, your entire repo to GitLab and do a bunch of the interesting stuff here, you can do this for cheap as heck especially as you get into the pieces for all of this. So the script is coming soon, um, and we should probably ho hopefully have released by the end of the month um, once I've actually kind of ingested what Clayton released this morning and learned from it and can then tinker with that and move that to uh, you know, as part of the project. If you're interested in uh, contributing, find me on the interwebs. I'm T-Bridge everywhere. Uh, and because I feel like this is a, a really important thing. So um, I do have one last important PSA. If you are feeling down, if you are feeling upset, if you are feeling like um, you don't want to be here anymore, I felt that way. I felt that way a lot. I felt that way when I was a teenager, when I was in college, when I started my own business and everything seemed impossible. These are numbers that can help you always. If you ever find, if you ever want to talk to somebody, I'm here. It is not, I want to see every last one of you back next year. And the year after that, 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 until we've all shuffled off this mortal coil, not of our own hand. So um, it's okay to talk about this stuff. And I feel like we need to normalize that as a community. Life is hard. That's it.